What's up, everybody? This is Dante Dumas. Yo, son. Next up is Dante Dumas. I used to do like a much better Dante Dumas impersonation. Like, Yo, son. You lost a kid. Just kidding. That's Jay Z. All right. What is up, everybody, and welcome to the 2 a.m. Burrito channel for another episode of Big Chief Burrito's Real Review. And as always, it's part of our ongoing series, Edward Film School. So I decided to redo this intro for my friend Dante Dumas, who I've worked with previously. We worked on Blacklisted together. Um, I'm going to go into a couple of those scenes later on when I talk about how we made a feature film for less than $50,000 with 136 actors. Um, but uh, we also worked on something that was kind of funny, which is a Doritos Crash the Super Bowl ad, where um, it was just a really quick idea that we had. Uh, and I'm going to play it for you guys now. What are you doing out And here it's very that? clever, as you can tell. See, she's got the blue hair. And you can't trust dad. your taste at all. Well, I and, can't you know, trust get it. Taste. She likes the ranch. Yo, I'm here to pick up Dorita. Yeah, not like so fast, seconds. guy. Why don't we look inside and Boom. see what's up? And then apparently serious? this is against the terms wow, of service because we were depicting an act of violence. But as you can what, see, the father overlooks the fact that he's got somebody kidnapped in the trunk because of how powerful his love of the red Doritos is. Come on, Doritos, that would have been a completely inappropriate ad to play during the Super Bowl, but I think you can see that there's talent here. So go ahead and hit us up for the next ad. Uh, we also have an IT, uh, an IP called uh, the Skinner Project, which he's a producer on. Um, that's a horror film that we began to produce, but that then um, there's a bunch of stuff that happened that caused us to have to stop making it. Uh, and that's going to happen in the industry. But he did submit uh, two reels for me to review. One of them is his bad guy reel. The other one's another uh, theatrical reel. And I gave him notes, um, but wanted to give him a shout out because he's also a musician. So I'm going to link his SoundCloud uh, in the description below. Um, or you can look uh, for Methodical Joe or look up Dante Dumas and check it out. Uh, and with that being said, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 500 subs. We are climbing every day, but just make sure double check that you are subscribed. And if you like any of the videos that we put out there, share them or even DM them to your friends, actors, or people that just love movies. Thank you for watching and enjoy the real review. And away we go. Buffering. Somebody not pay the sci-fi bill? The hi-fi? The Wi-Fi? Uh, well, good morning there, sleepyhead. And how are you doing this very fine morning? What the hell did you do to me? <laughs> Easy, killer. Relax. You took a nasty bump from this 45 here. It's a nice gun. Good craftsmanship. Now, I vividly remember telling you not to try anything. Welcome to Mikasa. You know, I know there's only one road in, one road out. Of course. You gotta keep everybody honest. Besides, I need everybody out of here by 3 a.m. We need the next show me bad guy, and they know you're showing me like no worries. executive hustler. Got my guys across the street ready to handle that. So let me know. I might switch these two Thank around you. just because I don't want you I to like get it. typecasted because the first like thing we see is you What's as a fucking criminal. Me? 35. 15 up front, two grand night of. Letty. Where's Carlito? Relax. He's on his way. Funny. Mm. Time to drink. Time to fucking smoke. And make my life a fucking living hell. And what are you doing? You this. should be out in the streets handling your shit. There's I heard Kalani. your girls out there doing your dirty work for you. <laughs> Yo, I think them bros at the hair salon got your head fucked up. For real. And I came down here to give you this. Hey. That's money for the money. For my daughter. Not for you to fucking drink on, smoke on, and what other dumb shit you do with my fucking money. And let me tell you something. If you ever talk about getting rid of my dogs again, you better pack your shit. Because I guarantee you, your ass will be gone before they will. Understand this, Stace. We never got married. So the only reason... Clip might be dragging a little bit too much, even though it's my clip. 
There's a lot of it. Shit. I get the point. She's your baby mama. Fuck alone. You like the Yankees. You're wearing that shitty ass hat. All right. <laughs> yeah, I would probably start with the between bullets clip because boom, you're moving. I can see you, blah, blah, blah. Then hit me with one of the other bad guy things and maybe close with the one of you because that's a strong scene. You're doing a good job there, I think, with Valentina. Um, and it's well, it makes you look good in terms of your ability to play like that smooth criminal role. But I don't know if I would start with it specifically for the reason that I mentioned. And obviously the blacklisted scene, you know, I'm partial to because I wrote it, but you showed me a little bit too much of it. Maybe start because I like the ending part, but I think uh, maybe if we drop in on that a little bit later, the part where you're like breaking it down to her is a little bit stronger. And I'm trying to think if there is another scene from Blacklisted that I would add or replace that with, but maybe the, the, the one uh, that we shot like right over there with Canberra. <laughs> Yeah, 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 all that is fine and dandy, but yo, you bring me some food? You bring me another bottle? You didn't listen to a word I just said. What the fuck you want me to do? What you want from me? I'm over here focusing, man. Say hello to the bad guy. All right, so that was the bad guy reel, and now I'm going to take a look at your theatrical reel. The DA has got one deceased male and two witnesses that I eyeballed you with the scene. I'd say that's one hell of a misunderstanding, Frankie. Look, I wasn't there. I didn't do it. <laughs> that's right, because um, according to this, you were at the club with one of your homeboys. No, wait, because down here you said uh, you was at the bar with your girl. And then down here it says you were uh, at home by yourself. You How am I supposed to defend you with this? House. See, that's just it. Half the guys in this room, we signed up for this to take care of our women. And each and every one of them. See, I don't know why. Do I always I mean, say that I think you should start with the back. second clip that I see? Maybe that's because I'm warmed up. But I always Tell like the back. first clip to be the one that's like. Are you married? You ever sleep around like, like your husband? Because this focus where they're coming Just around the corner man. on you at school, it makes you look good. Please. And it's like, that's a good starter. Like okay. This is another cop part. Then I'll leave and you'll never have to see me. Or again. the first one was a, kind of a DA. Now this Let is a cop. Explain. David was never even supposed to be there. And why was he, Lucas? Huh? Why was he there? He was just supposed to report on what he saw. Radio went in. You know, a lot of stuff with your hands there. He was never supposed to touch the damn thing. Yeah. Jason again to save the day. You got a problem? You know what? I do have a problem. Because see, the guys on the force, we do things by the book. But no. Not Jason. Jason does things his way. You running all over the city playing road cop like it's some kind of game. Came down here to find the gun my own way. You know what? You want to comb this place looking for the gun? Have at it. I ain't gonna take a piss. Again, um, out of all those clips, the one that I think was the least strong was the first one. I think you should keep it in there, uh, just because it's with you and David, but just maybe a smaller part of that, just the lawyer part, because with the cop one and the other parts, I think it covers a lot of stuff, which are good. All right, so obviously you're going to get cast as a bad guy a lot. We've had conversations about this in the past, and um, I think that both of the reels are strong. You know, I would kind of consider changing the order of the bad guy reel and making the changes that I suggested to the theatrical one to make it a little bit stronger based on the stuff that you have. Um, and I don't really think you need a third one. I think that's enough that would let me know what I'm getting when I sign up with you. Obviously, you're going to command presence in the room. You're going to have to sort of tone back that character in, in certain aspects, in certain places. Um, and... You know, overall, it's a professional reel well done. You know, it's it, it fits what people are needing for a lot of different parts. So, all right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hope I wasn't too rough on Dante. Um, as always, J-E-T-S, yes, yes, yes. Don't forget that, Mr. Dumas. And um, if you're an actor and specifically if I haven't worked with you a lot and you are down to submit a reel for me to review, 
please send me a message or comment below. Also, I want to expand this to short films. So if you are an independent filmmaker and you would like me or are open to me watching your short film uh, live for Big Cheap Burritos film reviews, then also leave a comment, hit me up. Um, Cause I think that could be interesting to do as well. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. Big Cheap Burrito out.